So Paul, another great three points to add to the already amazing record that Leamington are on at the minute. Yeah, listen, you know, um, November, October has been a, a good month for us. Um, you know, we've uh, it was important today. I thought after the last couple of results, you know, nicking the point here against York and putting a good performance and getting a well-deserved point at Harrogate last week. We then were keen to come back here and you know, could could we put performance in and back it up? with the three points then that would all of a sudden you know turn the month and the last few weeks into a really good one for us and we did I thought we um, real difficult conditions today you know it's, it's the wind blowing it's but in periods we, we played really well used the ball well we looked a threat started brightly um, you know and um, I think when you weigh everything up um, it, it was a real good all round performance and then, then we just had to dig in a bit at the end and fair play to Ferriby you know they kept going and they were proactive and trying to get attacking players on the pitch and uh, the game was spoiled a bit second half really but probably that first hour 70 minutes was really good for us really solid um, you know and delighted to get another three points on the board Obviously uh, two players to talk about today is Liam Canavan and Curtis Revan's performances Yeah yeah well obviously listen you know we, both of them really have you know, obviously different reasons, just bit by bit. Um, probably Liam with the injury, just trying to get him up to speed at this level. And he's, But he's done well the last few weeks, just coming on for 2025. So the test today was starting the game. Listen, you know, when you're coming on, when the game opens up, you know, it can be a little, you know, it can suit certain players. And he's done well for us. So starting was, um, wanted to get a little bit more legs and energy in the middle of the park today. Maybe... Last few games we've been very rigid in there, solid in there, the boys have done well. Had a little bit more quality in there today with the three lads in there. Uh, and was mindful that Liam could, could link things up and make things happen. And he did that. He tired a little bit, but no, it was good. It's, it's nice for him eventually to start. We probably started him in a couple of months ago and he was nowhere near ready, really. Um, so we, we took stock and 
He's worked hard. Uh, we've worked hard with him, and he, he's getting there now. He's been to look like a confidence North player. Same as Curtis. You know, he's another one that we, you know, we plucked last year and fits and starts. He's done well. It's just consistency, and we're just getting a little bit of consistency out of him now. Just get him to understand the game a little bit more. But they're both young, energetic, you know, and both got lots of um, lots of ability, and just and they're just working to a formula really. And you know, listen, if, if we can get them two and other players going in that direction then it's um, you know with Liam's quality and, and, and Curtis's pace if we can channel it right then it's always going to cause a problem and sometimes you know when you uh, you know with Ahmed not available at the moment then obviously we, we do lack a little bit of pace in the squad um, but when you've got Curtis down the centre you know you can see for the, probably the two penalties he stretches teams um, and I think you can see probably in his time here he's back to goals better he's making better runs and he's committing people and um, you know, it's uh, you know he's 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 doing really well, but uh, a lot of work still to do.